Um, before I get started, I just want to remind everyone that this is an 18 and up channel. If you are not over 18, please click the little X at the top of your browser. I'll wait. Anyway, I'm uh, the Pixie with a little BDSM chat, and I wanted to throw a really quick video up, uh, basically outlining what boundaries are. I've mentioned boundaries a bunch of times in uh, previous videos, and I just wanted to throw this little uh, little video out there. Um, so, some people think that boundaries and limits are synonymous. Some people view them differently. Um, some people think limits can be pushed where boundaries can't. And I'm not going to argue semantics for this video. What I'm going to talk about is standard language in um, the BDSM scene. And we use hard and soft limits. And we also set our boundaries. And if you are a part of the club saying that limits can, limits can be pushed where boundaries can't, we're going to look at hard limits as a boundary. Um, you do not ever, under any circumstances, push a hard limit. Hard limits are things that I say no to without ever ask, being asked. They are the things that I am not willing to try. They're the things I'm not willing to discuss. Um, so if I tell you one of my boundaries, one of my hard limits, don't ask. Don't ever bring it up. Don't talk about it. Um, it's not something that we're doing, period. If I ever change my mind, it's my job to bring it up to you. Um, soft limits are things that I might be willing to try. Um, sometimes it depends on the situation. Sometimes it's things I'm curious about, um, but kind of scared of. These are things that can be brought up and be discussed, but don't push. They are things that I'm not 100% comfortable with. Um, they are things that are potentially questionable. Um, maybe they're a little bit more dangerous, or maybe they're a bit more complex. Um, hi, son. Um, but whatever it is, there are things that can be pushed. There are things that can be discussed. Um, but there are also things that I am not 100% willing and ready to do. Um, and then, of course, there's the other uh, section of curious. Things that I'm not necessarily into, but I'm willing to try or I think I'll probably be into, but I've never done. Um, curious uh, things, obviously, are things that can be brought up and can be tried, but should be done, so, uh, done carefully because it's something you're not familiar with. Um, so for the sake of argument, one of my um, curiosities is... Um, dullification in a public place where I'm not allowed to speak except for red. That is always, always the exception in, in my book. If, as long as I'm physically able to speak, I can use the color codes. Um, which brings me to what if you're not physically capable of speaking? Come up with a signal. Um, if you're into gags, like, Mm. Um, come up with a, a hand tap like if you snap through, like or clap or you know say say you're bound but your hands are free um, some people use scarves where like you hold on to a scarf until you want to color out and you drop it but that has no sound so a lot of times that's really not helpful um, if, the, if your partner's not looking at your hands to see the scarf drop 
they might notice they might not notice for a good few minutes um so i don't like that uh method however if you have like a scarf with a bell on it and you hold the bell in your hand so the scarf is quiet until you drop it that might be something um or maybe like just have a weight so that it hits the floor with an audible thump um they're just these are just uh, things to think about and options to use. Um, if you've got any more ideas on things to use when you can't speak and you physically can't say your safe word or color out, leave it in the comments. Um, if you have additional uh, lines that you use, like, you know, I said there's things I'm okay with, things I'm curious about soft limits, hard limits. Um, if there's additional tiers that you use in your play that I haven't discussed, go ahead and leave those in the comments as well. I'd be really interested to hear them. And this has been a super quick video, so thanks guys. <laughs>